All right, guys, EA just dropped the NHL 18 franchise mode trailer today. Super pumped for this. Obviously, franchise mode is one of my favorite game modes up there with HUT. Um, it's covering both the expansion draft and the Vegas Golden Knights. So uh, I figure we just start watching this, give you guys my review. I'm hoping there's some good information here about what's in store. For the first time since 2000-2001. All right, so I'm just going to stop it right there like three seconds in. Uh, you'll notice the Vegas Golden Knights here are not wearing white gloves. So I think this means one of two things. Either someone at EA messed up with the Vegas Golden Knights equipment and gave them black and gold gloves instead of white, or this is a big or. The Vegas Golden Knights are going to switch their gloves to black and gold instead of the white ones they originally showed. Um, and EA knows about this and accidentally spoiled it. So um, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Expansion has made a presence in the NHL. In NHL 18's franchise mode, the new expansion draft feature gives you the ability to expand the league even further and create the 32nd NHL team. All right, so just quickly, if you guys didn't know about this, basically now when you do a franchise mode, you can do classic, which is just picking a team of the 31, or you can do 31 team expansion draft, it basically just means you'll be the Vegas Golden Knights in this one um, and actually redo the expansion draft. So you could do classic, be the Vegas Golden Knights and just use the players they already drafted. You could do 31 team expansion draft, in which case you're Vegas Golden Knights redrafting the team. Or you could do 32 team expansion draft, in which case you're a new team, you get to pick like a new location, name and everything, and make the league actually even with 32 teams. Um, probably choose like which division you're going to go in or whatever, so um, that'd be pretty awesome. Be like Quebec City, Seattle. Um, definitely, I think that's probably the best one. And I think this is probably what I'll be doing for my first franchise mode series in NHL 18, so um, definitely let me know if you guys like that or not. NHL team. Begin by running an authentic expansion draft where you carefully craft your team through the official protection lists. Once you've finalized your roster, use the updated Creation Zone customization. So right here, I think, just to look at a custom arena. It looks pretty sick. Like, it's a big arena. You got the logo there, new Jumbotron. I think there are some, like, new custom arena options. Tools to build your team arena, design your custom mascot, and even create... If you guys didn't know about this, you can actually create a mascot. Uh, you can pick both the head and the body. I think there's, like, uh, 20 heads but only 10 bodies or something. A lot of uh, cool, like, heads there, though your own AHL affiliate. That's also really cool. I didn't even think about that. So you get to make your own AHL affiliate. So basically like you're creating two teams if you do the 32 team expansion, which is pretty awesome. With more cities to choose from, bring your team to your hometown wherever it is around the world. So I'm not gonna like uh, pause it on every single one of those cities, but um, as you guys could see there, uh, there's like European cities, which is pretty cool. So like you could have um, your NHL team be in Liverpool, the AHL team be in Brooklyn, or you could have the NHL team be like in Stockholm, the AHL team in Copenhagen, like pretty awesome. I think they added European cities to this. Even if it's not really realistic, it's still cool. And of course, you can choose to play as your favorite NHL team and create- And right here guys is something awesome I just noticed. As you will see, next to Protective Rene's name here for protected players, it says NMC for no movement clause. And that is something that has yet to be in franchise mode. That is gonna make the game mode so much better. I'm sure some of you think this is just a small addition to franchise mode, but it's honestly gonna make it that much better. Now teams that gave out a bunch of no move clauses. So I think Detroit's like a team that gave out a bunch. It's gonna be even harder to move those players as not only are you gonna have to try and find a team that wants to trade for them, you're also gonna have to then ask the player if they're willing to waive their no move clause to go to that team. And if you're trading them to a bad team, they probably won't wanna go there. Or maybe they have like some sort of thing built in where if the guy's from the West Coast, he only wants to get trade to a west coast team like there's so much options here this is the first i've seen it too so i'm uh, really excited to see how that works out and that'll probably be huge when signing players too like maybe you can save 500k per year on his contract if you offer him a no move clause or maybe even if you just give him like a modified no move clause even though i'm guessing to make it easy it's probably just no move clause like standard across the board if they have modified no move clauses in here as well that'd just be crazy but for the first time they're putting it in i think just a no move clause in general um, is more than enough and like i said it's gonna make the game that much more better that much more authentic and a lot more fun signing players and seeing if you can like maybe use no move clauses to your advantage but they also could end up screwing you in the end if like let's say you sign a player for way too much his rating goes down you can't find any teams to trade for him when you finally do find that one team he says no um, will definitely make franchise mode that much better and submit an authentic protected player list to ensure your best players stay at home in addition to the owner goals player morale and arena management features okay we have to go back there for like one second look at this guy Putting himself in the trailer, Mr. Clapperton, you gotta be kidding me. In addition to the owner goals, player morale, and arena management features included in previous years. Alright guys, so as you can see here, they have the arena stuff back in. The concession stuff, I really didn't care about. Uh, this is like a different screen though, so maybe they improved uh, working with like the arena and all that stuff. Or it might simply just be a visual improvement as like the next screen looked the exact same. We'll have to wait and see. 
Uh, the morale looks the exact same, same with uh, the owner goals, but both the owner goals and morale I thought were fine. It was just like the concessions and all that stuff I thought could have been done better, especially when you like run out of finances every year and you can't repair anything. Um, hopefully they fine-tuned that. I know I did mention that when I was there, so um, let's hope. Years. The long requested ability to extend contracts mid-season has- There we go. You can now extend contracts mid-season. People have been asking for this for years. Um, it's so much better as you can actually kind of like figure out how much money you'll have at the end of the year once you see which guys are signing, which guys aren't. Um, also doesn't make you think there might be this huge UFA on the market um, when really the team is going to end up signing him. So this is huge. Definitely just makes it more realistic. You can better manage your finances. Um, just a win-win in every single way. It's been added to NHL 18, meaning you'll need to make critical decisions throughout the entire season. You'll also find more diverse player ratings, more NHL-ready talent at the top. I want to go back there just for a second, guys. Washington Capitals ratings here, I'm wondering, I really hope, like, are these just, like, down three across the board? Was Kuznetsov an 89 and 17, Backstrom a 92, Ovi a 95, Oshin 88? I think these might just be, like, the down three again. Um, so hopefully we'll see the ratings pretty soon. Usually they have, like, the top 10 of each position or whatever out at the end of August. So um, hopefully that's coming. But until then, you guys can just get, I guess, an idea of what the ratings might look like. Obviously they're going with lower ratings this year, I think. Chill ready talent at the top draft rounds. And for the sharp GMs out there, the ability to find better late round picks. As I was saying in the video guys, I realized I forgot to comment on the new drafting mechanics. So basically now if you draft a player, let's say top like three, uh, he has a very good chance of actually being NHL ready. So whether he's like mid to high 70 with that elite potential, maybe even a couple superstars already like um, low to mid 80s out of the draft. Um, so that's gonna be awesome to actually see like drafted players ready to go in their first season opposed to always having to like send them down and wait for them to grow. Also now there's gonna be more late round steals so you can actually get guys say like fourth to seventh round who have decent potential. Maybe they're very low rated but they're sort of like late bloomers who maybe in four or five years will actually become NHL players opposed to just constant AHL guys are never gonna help your teams. So obviously I think that's another awesome addition. Expansion has allowed us to redefine what it means to own a franchise in the NHL. Through deeper development and more customizable options, the decisions are truly in your hands. Alright guys, so I'm pretty pumped for expansion mode. I guess like a couple things at the end here. That shark mascot I honestly think looks pretty sick. I'm not sure if that's the Zay on Zay one and they just changed the color or what, but it also looks like he has furry hands, so very interesting. And then they have Cindy Crosby here, captaining that expansion team uh, with Taylor Hall, PK Subban, Looks like a bit of an all-star team, not sure uh, how they pulled that one off, but uh, yeah, very, very excited for this mode. Obviously, I think it's my second favorite mode behind Hut. Um, cannot wait to get my hands on it. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I was saying, I am super excited for this game mode. Hopefully you guys are too. If you did enjoy this little breakdown, please do the thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.